हेलो एवरीवन मोस्टली वी थिंक एंड प्रिपेयर अबाउट टेक्निकल इंटरव्यूज ओनली एंड नेवर प्रिपेयर फॉर एच आर इंटरव्यूज बिकॉज वी थिंक दे आर इजी बट नाउ अ डेज आई एम हियरिंग फ्रॉम सो मैनी कैंडिडेट्स दैट दे हैव क्लियर द टेक्निकल राउंड्स बट नाउ देयर ऑफर इज गेटिंग डिलेड एंड डिलेड एंड दे आर नॉट हियरिंग एनी थिंग फ्रॉम एच आर लाइक इवन आफ्टर सेंडिंग सो मैनी ई मेल्स एंड डन सो मैनी फॉलो अप्स even i have faced this situation in past and this is not a very good outcome because after clearing the technical rounds and not getting the offer it's something like uh, studying hard for many years but then not getting the degree mostly we blame hr for this but our answers in hr round are equally responsible for this situation so first thing is do not take your hr interviews very lightly Now I am going to share you ten most important HR interview questions, and most importantly, how to answer them based on my previous previous fifteen years of IT experience. Okay, so let's start with the first and the simplest question. Tell me something about yourself. This is just a warm up question, and this is asked in every technical, managerial, and HR round. This is just a warm up again because. nobody is going to evaluate you on the basis of this question but yes while answering this you must include these things like uh, your name total experience technology you are in and finally your current location uh, some optional things are like your domain experience and your hobbies they are all just optional the purpose of this question is just to make you comfortable okay nothing else now the next important question is Why are you looking for a job change? Why you want to leave your current company? So this is very tricky question especially if you are leaving your current company within 1 year of joining okay. So in that case this is a very very important question for you and you have to be prepared for it. So while answering this question one thing is very basic you should not blame your current company okay. Again you should not blame your current company remember the reason is HR job is to hire trustable employees and if you are right now blaming your current company then there is high chance that in future you will blame the new company also so it's all about attitude now the way i answered it in my interviews was a simple answer something like this uh, my project uh, my current project is going to be finished soon and then i will be on bench and i do not want to be on bench okay so that is a sensible answer because uh, for leaving the company because you are not blaming the company rather you are saying the circumstances are the reason for your job change you will be on bench not on project so now if you are leaving your company within uh, one year of joining your current company then you have to answer something like i was hired for a particular project but uh, that project uh, didn't happened and after 3 4 months i will be on bench or something like that so again this is based on the circumstances so remember this is the thing and what not to answer what you should not say that is i am on bad technology and the bad project bad manager bad money all these points may be valid but you should not say them okay because they are hard to explain very hard to explain for example if you will say sir i want uh, to work in the latest technology and my current company is working on the old technology then remember companies do not drive based on the your interest your technology they drive based on the project that you have and and the profit okay so they are not going to get the project based on your technology so i hope you got this right so you have to answer something which is like diplomatic and which is not blaming your company next question can be what is your notice period and the follow up question will be is it negotiable uh, here you can share your actual notice period but also say that yes your notice period is negotiable even if you are not sure about it is uh, still you have to say it see if the opening is for 100 positions okay take example then on an average company will try to take 200 hr interviews out of them some candidates will demand high salary so they are out some will be convinced by their current company or managers to not to leave they are uh, they are also out then and some have higher notice period which uh, the new company 
can't wait for okay so you have to say it is negotiable and since your project is going to be finished soon therefore i think my manager will release me soon so this is the way you are giving them the positive signal and the discussion will be on and keep going otherwise you know hrs they will not say anything directly but they will just say we will get back to you and you know the meaning of this right now the next question can be a follow up question is your company will be ready for a buyout option uh, this is my favorite question this gives me the feeling that yes i am so valuable some company wants to buy me and uh, i will answer something like this yes yes i will talk to my hr and that is possible and uh, yes i will show them the you know there is the chance okay now before moving to the next question you might ask why we are giving this diplomatic answers and not the straight forward answers see in hr interview you are basically dealing with the company okay companies are profit driven entities and when the time will come they can also ask you to like work on weekends late night meetings extra hours and you cannot say no to them at that point of time okay because your manager will convince you somehow so right now it's your time okay so you will get the best out at the only this time you should say everything which which you will which which gets you the best deal okay so this is the basic thing and remember that so now let's move to the next question will you able to relocate uh, you know the answer of this yourself better than me see if you are 100% sure that you cannot relocate then you are right and the answer is the same but if you are in doubt and you think like you do not have a permanent house or you are a bachelor or anything and this new company is too good and can offer you very good salary then as per my opinion you should say yes and i am open for relocation because because it's a small world okay do not restrict yourself early in the life again it's completely depend on you and your personal choices if your current circumstances are not good enough in your current project then at least this will this new uh, company will give you the option for you okay then you can find other offers with let, less notice period the whole point is to keep the discussion on okay to keep the opportunity on and open for you next question is is there any gap in your career now those who do not have any gap will not understand the complexity of this question and if you do not have then you are clear but if you have the gap and hr is asking you this question that means their company might have some policy okay mostly below 2 year gap is fine but if you have more than 2 years gap then my first suggestion is try to cover that gap okay now first thing is only 20% companies consider this gap thing okay so you still have 80% of company it companies open for you and be positive about it next thing is as i said try to cover the gap and with some project work freelance work medical leave anything okay but even if you can't cover it up then do not lose heart you still have 8 out of 10 companies to take you next question is again a very specific question do you have any other offer in your hand or they will ask are you serving notice period this is a situational question and if you do not have any then you should say uh, you should not bother about it okay and you can say no that is uh, that is what is expected and the right answer but 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 if you have some offer then you should answer it based on the interview round if this is the first round and uh, with hr or the consultant happening before the technical round then you should not say that you already have the offer and you should not disclose your offer details rather the answer should be like uh, Yes I am giving the interviews and trying to get the offers but as of now I do not have any offer mostly uh, if this is your first round then companies and consultant will not entertain candidates who are, who already have offers okay so if you are not 100% sure whether you will join the company which offer you already have then do not consider it as an offer consider it as an stepping stone for your next offer okay but if it, if, if if it is your final round okay and you have you have the previous company which offered you something and this current company is also offering you the same and both the companies are like same then you can tell them okay i have that offer i have like 
थ्री परसेंट हाई का एम गेटिंग देयर यू शुड गिव मी फिफ्टी परसेंट सो दैट इज़ अ डिफरेंट सिचुएशन सो यू हैव ऑफर इन द फर्स्ट राउंड बिफोर द टेक्निकल राउंड यू शुड नॉट डिस्क्लोज बट यस आफ्टर द एच आर इन द एच आर राउंड यू कैन डिस्क्लोज इट इफ यू वॉन्ट द हाइक ऑन द ऑफर यू हैव ओके ऑल राइट नाउ दिस इज द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन ऑफ द एच आर इंटरव्यू वट इज़ योर करंट सी टी सी एंड वट इज़ योर एक्सपेक्टेड सी टी सी द आंसर टू दिस क्वेश्चन इज बेस्ड ऑन योर करंट सिचुएशन बेसिकली एज आई सेड इन प्रीवियस क्वेश्चन फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ़ यू आर ए फ्रेशर देन योर फोकस शुड बी मोर ऑन द टाइप ऑफ वर्क रैदर दैन द सैलरी सेकेंड सिचुएशन इज यू आर वर्किंग समवेयर एंड हैव सम एक्सपीरियंस बट यू आर नॉट हैप्पी देयर ओके द पीपल द टेक्नोलॉजी द मॉन्स्टर मैनेजर बिकॉज ऑफ एनी रीजन यू आर नॉट हैप्पी देयर Uh, I was also in such situation once in past uh, because of the manager only. So in this situation, ask between thirty to forty percent hike based on the current salary. If you have already have an offer, do not disclose it. If you are not sure about that offer, so this is one situation. Third situation is you are doing okay, okay in your job. but but you have the biggest problem in of this world and that is salary ctc and the money that is the problem which can solve all the problems right so in this situation you do if if you do not have the offer then ask for the at least 50% hike okay there will be slight risk but in most of the cases companies will give you and then you will be happy and satisfied also otherwise what will happen you will be satisfied but not happy so see if you will ask for 30% hike okay then you will be you will be confused when they will give you okay shall i leave my current company or not you will think about this so if i my manager will give me promotion so inside you will not be satisfied then if you will ask for something 30 20% so this is one case and if you already have the offer and both the companies are same for you then tell them that you have the offer of 30% and now you want 50 or 70 even 100% hike with confidence and please do not bargain for 5 to 10% please if you have the offer you are capable of cracking the interview so you deserve it hr will bargain because that is their job because what happens is hr is taking daily 3 4 5 10 employees uh, interviews okay but as a person you change only a job in 2 3 years so be confident about that be diligent and it's a very simple thing okay all right so next two questions are very quick and very simple so sometimes interviews ask interviewer ask you to rate yourself on some skill sets based uh, out of 1 to 10 okay so not just at hr but also in technical interviews also they will ask so always try to rate yourself as much as you can from 5 to 9 do not rate 10 it's a, a sign of uh, over confidence and you should leave something for future learning also right and if you are rating something below 5 that means you do not know that and that is risky because if they are asking this question that means that is important for them so this is the answer last answer is last question is what are your strengths and weakness it depends on person to person honesty hard working quick learner committed anything you can answer for the strengths but for the weakness just say only one weakness give more focus to strength rather than weakness okay all right now i think you know that that what are the top 10 hr questions and the most importantly the answers for them always remember one thing do not give answers which stops the discussions we block the discussions okay rest is fine and be positive about the results at last thanks for watching this video and all the best for your careers